In today's video, we delve into the power of language models, specifically ChatGPT, in enhancing the results of image generation. We tasked three individuals with crafting an image prompt from a simple scenario. A person leveraging technology to learn for their job, all in the comfort of their own home. We'll show you their prompts, what those prompts produced, and then use those same prompts to generate new, more detailed prompts within ChatGPT. Theoretically, this should create more detailed and higher quality images. Let's get on with the experiment. In our first image prompted by Zach, a person sits in a comfy chair at home, taking an e-learning course on their tablet while sipping a mug of tea. You can see that it's a pretty nice looking painting of a woman sitting in the sunlight. She is clearly reading a book, not using a tablet, and overall it's visually pleasing but not very detailed. Theodora's prompt was a bit more detailed. She imagined a young and modern looking professional using a phone to complete learning on an exciting topic in the comfort of their home. As you can see, a more detailed prompt yields better results. In this photo, a man is sitting on what looks like a very comfortable couch in full business attire and reading something on his phone. His expression is engaging and this came out really, really well. Derek imagined a man studying a technical schematic on a tablet at his kitchen table, with the city of New York visible through the window. Honestly, not bad. New York is outside the window, and the man is clearly looking at something technical on the very large tablet. However, there appears to be some kind of futuristic hologram thing happening. So this isn't exactly what we were hoping for. Now we're going to train ChatGPT to create a formula for our image prompts and see how it works out. First, we'll have a spot for the image we're prompting, then five descriptive keywords, followed by the camera type, lens type, time of day, style of photograph, and type of film. And since we're using this for a video, we'll want our images to be in the proper aspect ratio, in this case, 16 by nine. To ensure that you have a variety of options, it's always a good idea to ask it to generate a few different prompts, and then you can choose the ones you like. As a reminder, here was Zach's original prompt and the results it yielded. And here is the updated prompt using our formula. You can see that is selected a variety of camera and lighting preferences. And here are the results. A much more photorealistic version of Zach's original idea. Theodora's prompt, remember, was more detailed and her image came out great. However, with the new prompt, we've got the correct aspect ratio without losing any photorealism. Also, the man in the picture is more realistically dressed for a home setting. Derek, remember, accidentally invented a new form of holographic technology with his image, which was not the intention. Using the new formula, the results were much more realistic. The man appears to be working diligently on his tablet, with the hustle and bustle of New York City in the background. We hope this experiment showed that more detailed prompts yield better results, and that by creating a formula within ChatGPT, you can create photorealistic images to use for your various projects. Thanks for watching.